personal reading books. I close my books. It's only temporary, only until I catch up with my readings. <clears throat> okay, I have a I have a lot of readings. Okay, I was about to say something else. I have a lot of readings. I'm trying to catch up. Um, I'm trying to get everybody done. And you know, I don't want to rush because I want to make sure I want to make sure that you guys get the best of me. Okay. Once I'm all caught up, I will reopen my books. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> also, you guys, I have a new deck that I'm going to be launching soon. I'm going to make sure I sit up tonight. I post uh, previews of the cards and they will be available for pre-sales for those of you guys who want to reserve your deck. Um, my, what is it called? <laughs> the guy that's making my cards, okay? He will be overnighting me a deck. I will have my deck in hand tomorrow and we will start using them on the channel. Um, this deck is dedicated to the star seeds. It's called Star Child Oracle. I'm so, 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 so excited about this deck. I haven't really seen a deck like it. And I just felt like us as star seeds, we need something that's dedicated to us that talks about our gifts. Um, it kind of goes into detail about our gifts, us as star seeds, us as chosen ones. All right. So be on the lookout for that. You will be able to pre-order your deck on my Etsy shop, okay? All right, <clears throat> so yeah. We have keeping tabs on you, coming back, it's real, using you or others for money. So y'all, somebody keeping tabs on you. I'm talking about riding past your house, looking you up online, doing research. Somebody could have hired a private investigator. Like this person, they just want to know where you at. <laughs> okay, they're trying to figure out where you at. You could have moved, you could have relocated. This person lost tabs on you. While they were out here running amok, they lost tabs on you, all right? Uh, this person could have left you unattended for too long and you just you just kind of quietly moved on with your life, all right? <clears throat> but this person is coming back. This person could be in another situation uh, with somebody. Um, they could be using this person for money. Somebody could have used them for money. Um, there's definitely something, some fraudulent stuff, something, something going on with some money over here. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, this person is energetically holding on to you. It says energetically holding on to you, never letting you go. Yeah, they holding on to your energy. You feel this. You feel this person around you at night. You could, It's like you don't remember seeing them in your dream, but you know you felt their energy. That's how you know somebody is watching you spiritually. This person is watching you at night. While you sleep in, they're always around you. And this person knows that you guys are lacking faith. They know that you ain't got no more faith in them. All right? you. right? I'm hearing you, you fed up. All right? All your faith has ran dry. That's how they feel. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, this is somebody who they didn't intend on catching feelings for you. This is, they don't catch feelings for nobody, really. This is love them today, leave them tomorrow. This person very easily leave people, y'all. All right, they're always in and out of relationships. <clears throat> they have a lot of people from their past that's still brokenhearted over them. So, you know, when they caught feelings for you, this person was quite surprised. They was like, oh, no, I'm a player. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't catch feelings. Feelings, what are those, right? <clears throat> but they caught feelings for you, though. They actually fell in love with you. This person could have caught an STD. Okay? They could have caught something. STD, burning, itching, and leaking. This person could have caught something that they can, they may or may not can get rid of. So make sure, like, you know, keeping it on the law. This person may be hiding the fact that they caught an STD collective. So be sure, like, if you're dealing with this person, 
you know, let's just say you ain't dealt with them in a long time. Y'all re-getting to know each other. They come back around. Um, have your, have your, your, um, your papers in hand. All right. Cause you know, we should be getting checkups and stuff. Have your papers in hand. Be like, Hey, listen, I got my paperwork. Let me see your paper. You need to go get, go get tested. You know, this person needs to go get tested because you need to know what you, what you working with. You need to know what's going on. This person, I think, I think they call something just me personally. Yeah. This person is also tired of pretending that they don't want you. But they feel like, you know, you they connect to you guys sexually in a way that they don't connect with nobody else. And they sick of this shit. They sick of it. But they was out here giving themselves away loosely and they done caught something. I don't know if it's something they can get rid of or not. But they're definitely keeping this on the low. All right. This person is also planning on trapping you with a kid. So if they get their hands on you. This person is definitely thinking about trapping you with a child. If you can still have kids, um, they want to trap you <clears throat> with a baby. Twins if they could, okay? Um, this person may have a set of twins already or their twins running their family or something like that. But this person cannot get you out of their head. But they lost you because they didn't feel like they they were non-committal. They didn't feel obligated to commit. But now this person is secretly somewhere heartbroken, licking their wounds because you to move forward. This person has also consulted with the tarot card reader. Like they have gotten a reading on you guys too. Yeah, they get readings on you. You like, especially if this person know you're into spirituality. Y'all, spirituality is more common than what you think now. Tarot card readings, that shit is way more common than what 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 you think. More people get readings than what you expect. People secretly get readings and stuff. This person got a reading on you. Yeah. <clears throat> this reader saw that they were hiding other lovers and told them you lost them because you were hiding other lovers from them. This reader told them that, <clears throat> that they need to express their feelings for you. The reader was able to see that they're, they hide all of their feelings and their emotions for you. <coughs> <coughs> Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm sorry about my voice, y'all. I've been doing personal readings um, all day. <laughs> and um, now I'm getting to these generals, okay? Yeah, this, this person made you feel worthless on purpose. They made you feel worthless. I made you feel worthless, but the truth is you were too good. You were too good for me. They made you feel worthless, y'all. No lie, but when this person think about you, they think about commitment. All right, this person feel like they should have made you their husband. They should have made you their wife. They should have expressed themselves to you. This person is fearful that you are looking for their replacement. All right, they're fearful that either you've already replaced them or are you looking for their replacement. Also, y'all, they could have went back to somebody from their past. They could have went back to an ex, all right? But while they land next to this ex, they're up all night thinking about you. Ain't that something? Ain't that something, collective? They laying in the bed with somebody, but they thinking about you all night. Yeah, this person, they know that you're their soulmate. <laughs> yeah, and this person said that they'll chase you if they have to. If they have to chase you, and y'all, this is somebody who don't chase nobody. I'm telling you, they don't do that. They do not do that. They this they they normally get chased. All right. This person could have bad mouthed you to their friends or said something to about you to their friends or told their friends that, you know, they're over you and they ain't never going back to you, that, you know, the situation is dead and gone. And they feel like their friends is going to judge them if y'all get back together. Like, this is the only reason I can think of as to why would their friends judge them unless they said some shit that they shouldn't have said about you to their friend, right? <clears throat> See, that's why you shouldn't be out here fronting and stuff. This person was out here fronting, lying, capping, okay? Talking out the side of their neck to their friend, knowing knowing damn well, deep down, they, they was in love with your ass. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I'm in love. No rush. Like I said, knowing damn well they was in love with you. They was running their mouth, trying to look good in front of their lame ass, karmic friends. <sighs> now they looking stupid because if y'all do end up with this person... <laughs> They friends going to judge them. They friends going to be like, hold on. I thought you didn't love her. I thought you didn't love him. I thought I thought it was over. Remember? Remember all that stuff you were saying? Right. What happened to all that? What happened to all that stuff you were saying, buddy? All right. I thought it was over. Tell me. Um, 
Yeah, this person all in their head, world falling apart. This person's world is falling apart. Everything is crumbling around. And this person is angry, though. What you angry for? Okay, I see why. Because the angel's not on their side no more. Yeah, this person was lying to you. They wasn't living the truth. God don't like liars. And this person is getting bad karma. They're angry because they're getting bad karma. Just, just be real. They're, that's why they're angry, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> and they feel like you don't want to move forward with them. Yeah, this person heartbroken. Toe up. Heart toe up in their chest. Because they feel like you don't want to move forward with them collective. <clears throat> yep, because they was being deceptive. They was being a con. They was being manipulative. They, they could have stolen something from you that they, they, you feel like they stole your heart. Yeah, they were being inconsiderate. Yeah, the charity was in re here in reverse twice. This is somebody who just, um, they just lack forward movement. This person was stuck and stagnant. This person could have been acting out kind of aggressive at one point. You know, just very low vibrational. Like, and I do feel like this is past energy. I know that they are currently stalking you. They do currently ride past your house. They do currently look you up. Okay, people search energy. Yeah, they bored with their life. They are rejecting all other offers around them. <coughs> they don't want nobody but you. They don't want nobody but you. <clears throat> yeah, and this person is also, um, they need to disconnect from a, from a third party. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. Somebody who they cannot be prosperous with. They cannot be abundant with this person. All right, our spirit, spirit just called this karmic a low life. They need to disconnect from this low life over here. What, like, how did they end up with this karmic Holy Spirit? What was the nature? Yeah, this karmic promised them the Ace of Cups. But this karmic promised them a, a new beginning. And this karmic has also trapped them. It's like, now they view this karmic as baggage. Like, this karmic has did something to make it difficult for this person to move on. I don't know what the hell they done did. Look at that. Like I said, this karmic did something to this person to make it difficult for them to move on, collective. They did something. Yeah, Ooh. disabilities make it hard for this person to move forward, all right? <laughs> they did something to disable this person. They could have lied to them. They caused some type of confusion, bad communication. They said something or did something. They could have committed. Oh, whoa. I was going to say they were noncommittal, but spirit is telling me this karmic burnt them. This karma gave them this STD. This is why this person has been hesitant to come back around you because y'all know, like y'all, y'all raw with each other. Like y'all don't use protection when y'all have sex with each other. And this person know that you clean. They know you a good girl or you a good guy. You don't. They know you ain't got nothing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So how, like, <laughs> I don't know, y'all. It's just kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah, this karmic had options. Seven of Cups energy. The karmic burnt them. Gave them an STD. That's so fucked up. That's why Spirit called this bitch a low life. Yup. That's what happened. And this person is fearful that you're going to get a new beginning a, like with somebody else. They're, they are fearful that you're going to have a new cycle. Like good karma, good luck, a new opportunity the wheel has turned in your favor with somebody else. They're fearful that you're going to meet somebody else and y'all going to have a beautiful, happy, destined connection, all right, <laughs> without them. And they're going to be over here stuck looking stupid with this karmic energy here. Like, yeah. Like, you done got your power back. Okay, you have got your power back. Yeah, emperor energy. This could be your divine masculine with the emperor. All right, he could be an Aries. You could be a um, Leo. Somebody could be an earth sign or have heavy earth in their chart. This person is heartbroken though. But they don't have nobody to blame but themselves. They have absolutely nobody to blame but themselves collective. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, could be an Aquarius holding back communication because... They don't even know what to say. They don't know how they're going to get out of this situation. They desperately want to walk away, though. They they, they, they want to walk away from this karmic like last year sometime. Okay? <laughs> and I'm going to say this. For some of y'all, they call like herpes. Like something that they, it could be controlled with like medication or 
you know, like they can take medicine for it. They can, they can use caution so they won't give it to you. But this person is just like, eh, you're not going to want to hear that though. Yeah, this person caught this when they was out here being a whore or when they was out here abusing their power. And that's why you walked away from them. That's why you walked away from this person. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yep, that's why you decided to finally lead this person out of the home because they wasn't telling you much. They, was, they wasn't leaving you no other choice. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to extend this because I want to see what's going to happen next. For those of you guys that do love your person and you will be taking your person back, you know, I want to see what is this person's next move? What is on this person's heart that they got to tell you? Can you expect reconciliation? What is it going to be like? Like, what is this meetup going to be like? Um, is it worth it? <clears throat> okay. Um, you know, has this person changed? Have they went through their transformation? Like, will they be ready? Collected. We're going to talk about something more, some more about this karma, the karmic lesson and everything like that. What's going on over here with this karmic energy collective? Like, what do the future look like for you and this person in the near future? All right. If you guys are interested, click the link in the description box. Follow me over to the other side. Peace.